I'm James McGregor. Um, I've been involved in the non-profit sector for about 15 years now, I suppose, maybe a bit longer. But there's a need to make a difference. I can't live in a vacuum. I can't live uh, isolated from what is going on around me in South Africa. I've never been able to do that. Westlake um, is, is a diverse community that uh, comes from an informal settlement at the end of the M3. I think there are many social challenges in a community like this, as we find in most of our communities. And often that's happened because people were put into houses that they couldn't afford to live in. They haven't got jobs, they haven't got an income. So how do they afford to live in that house? They have electricity meters they've got to feed, they've got water they've got to pay, and they've got to pay for refuse and sewage. They can't afford it. We came together as the churches who were involved in this community and we decided to form ourselves into a, a trust. And then we had a look at these buildings and we decided to convert them into a community centre and a place where other, other services and facilities could be provided. And we soon used it for sewing and beadwork. We're on a home-based care program. We've got about 25 carers. But what's good about it is that it creates training and development opportunities for the staff. They all come from the village. One of the most important things we do is our preschool. Education is, I think, the single most important thing we have to do in our country, is to educate our people. So if we can get our children to be really well prepared, that they can go into primary school, they can succeed and pass properly, then we've done our job. What do you think? If they get here at 7 o'clock, they'll get breakfast. They'll get a mid-morning snack, they'll get lunch, and they'll get an afternoon snack before they go home at 3 o'clock. This really means that they don't need to be fed at home at all. And that's a huge benefit, not just for the children, but for the families as well. We all have to come to a place where we say, well, what can we do? And we do what we can. What is important, though, is that we give these children a chance in life. Um, we may not be able to solve all the adults' problems, but at least if we give the children a decent start in life with a good basic education, they can go forward into a decent future. So I believe that if I serve on a board of a non-profit organisation, I must make a contribution to that organisation. I can't go and ask someone else to contribute to that organisation if I haven't contributed myself. Uh, now I have about 15 or so boards that I serve on, maybe a bit more. There's no shortage of ability out there. There's just a shortage of opportunity. If I can help in some way to provide that opportunity, that's exciting.